Today we're talking about your new account. If you just recently signed up for study, no matter what account you signed up for, this is what you're going to come to. When you log in and sign up for the first time, you're going to come to the dashboard. This dashboard is going to show you um, a, where you're going to find things, how to change things. So let's just say that we want to start off by looking at um, membership profile. This is where you're going to change um, your password or maybe a different credit card number for billing. Let's go up here and we're going to see that we can click on my courses and it's going to take us to every course that we've added into the account so far. So I started with three as an example and then we're going to add more in just a minute to show you how quick and easy it is to add a course or delete a course. So you can see here that right under my courses, this is where I go 95% of the time. I'm just looking at a glance to see what my student has done today. I want to know um, if they have 37 out of 98 lessons done, what does that look like? If I click inside the chapter, I'm going to be able to see by scrolling down, I'm going to be able to see every quiz and find out, okay, what did they score today on the quizzes that they completed? Okay, two out of five, that's concerning. I'm going to click there and we're going to go over that together. One amazing feature that you're going to find is that study is going to show you what you missed and it's going to show you an explanation of the answer as well as it will, if you click here on this button, it's going to take you back to show you, I did not mean to click on that. <laughs> it took me right to the video that explains this answer. So you don't have to rewatch the video lesson again. It's going to take you directly to that part of the video. Another cool feature is that if I'm wondering how many factors does the composite number 24 have, and I want to see how the teacher explained it, I can go back up here to the top. And right now we're in the quiz tab. I can go right back here to the video tab. And every word that this teacher said today on this lesson is going to be found in the transcript right below. So you can see that your student or you with your student can come here and find the answer and the explanation of how they get a composite number. So I love that. I either have my daughter come and look at the transcript and find the answer. I will have her either watch the video for the correct answer, but for my daughter, she has to score 100%. You can have as many attempts as you want to score um, that 100%, but my focus is on learning, and so I want her to be able to understand the material. It's not good enough for me that she moves on if she didn't understand. So again, I'm gonna very quickly see where I can um, find the answer three different ways. And now I can come back here and you can see that you can click on retake quiz. So awesome that study provides all three of those um, ways of finding the answer and learning the material. Let's go ahead and go back. This little silhouette up here is your way of getting back to that dashboard. So again, I'm just gonna click on dashboard and you're going to see that everything is going to pop up for me here in the screen. If I ever want to see my courses at a glance, again, 95% of the time, you're just going to want to click on my courses. The same thing for your student if they're on a laptop. If they're in the study app on their phone or iPad, it's going to look a little different, but you're going to see that they can see each of their courses, and then they don't have to worry about seeing all of these extra things on the left-hand side. They're just going to click on their course and get started. Okay, let's look for a second at how to search for a class. I'm going to show you an example. I know that when you first sign up, it's exciting. You're ready to search for some classes. So I'm going to show you um, 
what you can do. You're going to click on courses right here. And I'm going to start off by telling you that um, if you're homeschooling, which is probably how you got to this video, this is the homeschooling hub. If for some reason you can't remember how to get here, just type in, I'll show you up here as an example. I'm going to type in study.com and then I'm going to type in forward slash homeschool. So that's easy to remember. And when you type that in, it's going to bring you to this page. So I suggest bookmarking it or remember that it's study.com forward slash homeschool. Um, if you haven't been to this homeschooling hub before, there's a lot of awesome things in here that study has provided um, for us homeschoolers. But first, I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you that by scrolling down here on the main page, you're going to come to a place that lets you see online homeschool courses. You can search both by grade as well as by subject. So let's just take a look here by grade for a second. You're going to see that if I have an eighth grade student, here are some suggestions of what study has for eighth grade students. If you just want to make sure your student is getting those core classes done, this is a great way to start. So if I said, I'm happy with eighth grade language arts, let's get started. I can come here and you can see that it, there's going to be a little green button here. It says you have started this course, but usually there would be nothing there. So I must have already added eighth grade. So let's go ahead and try ninth grade. I'm going to click on ninth grade English. And right over here to the right, you see this big green um, rectangle. Go ahead and click that and you will see how quick it is to add a course. I'm going to say no thanks for a goal. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. And there we go. The class has been added. It will say you have started this course and it is in my account. I'm going to go back up here to the back menu. And I'm going to click uh, and select another course. I see here that I have a couple options. I'm interested in science, but there's AP environmental science. There is principles of health. There's physical science high school, or I can take any other class that is suggested on here. Maybe you want to take biology for high school. Maybe you want to take um, the CLEP natural sciences. A lot of the classes are inter interchangeable. So maybe your student is um, in eighth grade, but they already did earth science. You can choose life science. Um, the way that study design its courses is that even though it says seventh grade, that doesn't mean it wouldn't work for eighth grade. Um, it's not like other curriculum where you would have a problem um, with it being, you know, lower standards or um, at a different level for vocabulary. The way that study designed it is for you to use any course that you want to fit your need of your child. So remember, there's 4,100 courses available. These are just suggestions that study has come up for you. So I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that even though um, my ninth grader um, could take physical science, I'd really like for them to take earth science. Or maybe they said, mom, I'd rather take earth science. And so here we go. We're going to start this course. And again, this time I'm going to say, you know what? You have all year to do this course. So I'm going to make an end date of May 22nd. And we're good to go. It's now going to be um, in my account. And I'm now going to go back and go back to that search menu on the homeschooling hub. Again, I'm going to show you one more way of searching. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to switch from by grade to by subject. You're going to see that now it's going to bring up different um, subjects. And you can see that actually there's a lot more science options than even what you just thought of. So I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm going to show you how to find even more science classes that are available by study. We're going to go back up to the main um, page. Let's scroll up to the top. 
we're going to go over here and click on study.com. Just kidding. We're going to click study home. Okay, there we go. Here you're on just the study.com main page. We're going to click on courses. And we're going to choose science um, just to get an, an idea of everything that's offered. So if you see here by subject, I'm going to go over here on the left side and I'm going to click science. You can see that you can filter it again by biology, chemistry, physics, um, earth science. There are 691 different classes available to you. Um, just because you're not doing CLEP does not mean that you might not want the CLEP biology. Let's take a look and just select biology over here to filter on. You can see that there are 174 classes. Um, they are all great classes. You're going to see that the biology 101 here is 170 lessons. So maybe the CLEP biology has um, a lot more flashcards, a lot more um, test prep um, included in there. So you're going to see all of these different options. Um, let's go ahead and say within biology, we want to take it a step um, further, and we only want microbiology. Well, again, you're going to see that there are 22 classes that fall under microbiology. Some of the fun of starting study is maybe just beginning with core courses and then taking one subject at a time. Now remember, if I only had a middle schooler, I'm going to come over here and maybe select middle school in science. Um, let's go a little broader and change it to from microbiology to all of science. Let's see how much comes up for middle school science. We have 86 different courses that you can choose from. Again, we're going to go ahead and select just biology, just to get an idea of what they have available. And we've narrowed it down to 28 different courses. You can have fun and go through these. Um, let's just click on Kingdom and how would you say that? Animalia? And we're going to go down and we're going to see that there are 296 lessons. Every one of studies courses are self paced. And it's going to tell you here the average length is eight minutes of um, these videos. Again, you can start the course easily by just clicking there. We're going to scroll down. And sometimes I just want to get an idea of some of these lessons. Um, do fruit flies carry diseases? I'm going to be able to look by closing the detail right here at a glance. Maybe this is something that your child loves. And so you think, man, this is going to be the class that they're going to really enjoy. Awesome. Add this course. You can cancel any um, course at any time. You can add any course at any time. Um, you do not have to finish any course that you started. I mean, this is for you to customize your child's education. Just another feature I love. So again, you can see here that you can select by any genre, um, any subject, um, education level. It's amazing and kind of exciting. So take a look by clicking around into some of these classes and see if you can customize your child's education so that they can enjoy learning this year. Let's go back to our dashboard. We're right up here. We're going to click on dashboard again. And from there, I could have clicked on my courses or again, I can click on my courses from here. Both locations bring me to the same thing. I'm going to close details for a second, and I'm going to see here now that the classes um, that I added are here. And even the previous ones I just looked at. So let's just say we want to start this course. I'm going to click no thanks, and there you go. It's now up here, and it's been added. So I'm going to decide, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't think they're ready for that 10th grade English. I want to go ahead and I want to delete this out of their account. What would I do? See this unenroll button right here? 
I'm going to click it, and it's gone. It's that fast. You can add and delete classes whenever you want, as many times as you want. The new family plan is going to have the feature of not allowing your students to make a, to change the billing, the membership details, a lot of different things that you wouldn't want your child to change. And so those are in the new um, family plan feature. So that's amazing and another great reason to have the homeschooling account. But in any account that you have, you are not penalized by deleting a class or adding a class whenever you want. Let's just say, for example, that my student was at lesson 79 out of 129 and you decided you don't want it anymore. You can click here and unenroll it. And if you change your mind next year, next month, it is as quick as going back and finding the class and clicking start this course. Your student will not start at zero. They will start back at lesson 79 where they left off. So your progress is tracked and kept in your account, whether you delete the course, whether you don't do it for months on in, your progress is kept in your account. So another awesome feature of study. Um, we set some goals. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to change a goal. Right here, we can see that um, by doing a goal and editing it, we can add um, features of do we want text message reminders, do we want email reminders. I'm just going to say I'm going to remove this goal. I don't want this goal anymore. Am I sure? Yes, remove the goal. That's how quick it is to add a goal. I, I mean, to delete a goal. Let me click on new goal. And again, I'm going to select a course. It's only going to give me the, the courses in my account. I'm going to click the new one that we just selected. I'm going to say that I want them done before winter break. Winter break, last day of school is going to be the 20th. And I'm going to say I want the email reminders on and I want text message reminders to let me know. Um, it's going to show me, okay, you need to do chapter one and chapter two this week to stay on track to end it on December 20th. Let me edit that now and show you the difference. If I change that to something like May, the end of the school year, May 22nd, now I'm going to save the goal. It was that quick to edit it. And now my child knows that they have to do chapter one this week in order to stay on track. So I know that a lot of families are used to a Cellus power school, and so they have the steps. And so you're going to be able to know, I need to have chapter one done this week. At a glance, I'm able to see that chapter one has 11 lessons, and then there's one chapter test at the end. Every chapter test is 30 questions, and those questions change every single time you take it. However, these quizzes within a chapter never change. It's the same five questions at the end of the video. So you're going to watch the five to eight minute video, and then you're going to take um, the five question quiz. And you can take that quiz as many times as you need to, and it's going to keep track of your scores here. All right, so we're going to go back here to dashboard. And again, remember that this is where you start. This is where you're going to um, see your recent activity. This is where you're going to see um, to change goals. If you want to change um, your password, you're going to go down here to profile. If you need to change a credit card number or PayPal, you're going to come here to membership. And I think that is all what we'll, that we'll go over today. So I hope that was helpful. If you have a specific question, comment on the video so that I can go ahead and answer your questions. Have a great day, guys. Bye.